Palm Sunday, Wikipedia article audio. April 9th. Biblical basis and symbolism. Observance in the liturgy. Eastern and Oriental Christianity. Western Christianity. Customs. Belgium. Bulgaria. England. Ethiopia. Finland. India. Italy. Latvia. Lithuania. The Levant. Malta. Netherlands. Philippines. Poland. Romania and Moldova. Spain. Syria. Wales. Notes. March 25th. April 14th. April 5th. Palm Sunday is a Christian movable feast that falls on the Sunday before Easter. The feast commemorates Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem, an event mentioned in each of the four canonical Gospels. In many Catholic and Episcopal denominations, worship services on Palm Sunday include a procession of the faithful carrying palms, representing the palm branches the crowd scattered in front of Jesus as he rode into Jerusalem. The difficulty of procuring palms in unfavorable climates led to their substitution with branches of native trees, including box, olive, willow, and yew. The Sunday was often named after these substitute trees, as in yew Sunday, or by the general term branch Sunday. Portals, Christianity Bible In the accounts of the four canonical Gospels, Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem takes place about a week before his resurrection. Christian theologians believe that the symbolism is captured prophetically in the Old Testament, Zechariah 9, 9 The coming of Zion's king see, your king comes to you, righteous and victorious, lowly and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. It suggests that Jesus was declaring he was the king of Israel to the anger of the Sanhedrin. According to the Gospels, Jesus Christ rode a donkey into Jerusalem, and the celebrating people there laid down their cloaks and small branches of trees in front of him, and sang part of Psalm 118, 25 26. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The symbolism of the donkey may refer to the Eastern tradition that it is an animal of peace, versus the horse, which is the animal of war. A king would have ridden a horse when he was bent on war and ridden a donkey to symbolize his arrival in peace. Jesus' entry to Jerusalem would have thus symbolized his entry as the Prince of Peace, not as a war-waging king. In Luke 19:41, as Jesus approaches Jerusalem, he looks at the city and weeps over it, foretelling the suffering that awaits the city in the events of the destruction of the Second Temple. In many lands in the ancient Near East, it was customary to cover in some way the path of someone thought worthy of the highest honor. The Hebrew Bible reports that Jehu, son of Jehoshaphat, was treated this way. Both the Synoptic Gospels and the Gospel of John report that people gave Jesus this form of honor. In the Synoptics the people are described as laying their garments and cut rushes on the street, whereas John specifies fronds of palm. In Jewish tradition, the palm is one of the four species carried for Sukkot, as prescribed for rejoicing at Leviticus 23:40. In the Greco-Roman culture of the Roman Empire, which strongly influenced Christian tradition, the palm branch was a symbol of triumph and victory. It became the most common attribute of the goddess Nike or victory. 
For contemporary Roman observers, the procession would have evoked the Roman triumph, when the triumphator laid down his arms and wore the toga, the civilian garment of peace that might be ornamented with emblems of the palm. Although the epistles of Paul refer to Jesus as triumphing, the entry into Jerusalem may not have been regularly pictured as a triumphal procession in this sense before the 13th century. In ancient Egyptian religion, the palm was carried in funeral processions and represented eternal life. The palm branch later was used as a symbol of Christian martyrs and their spiritual victory or triumph over death. In Revelation 7,9, the white-clad multitude stand before the throne and lamb holding palm branches. Palm Sunday, or the entry of the Lord into Jerusalem, as it is often called in some Orthodox churches, is one of the twelve great feasts of the liturgical year. The day before Palm Sunday, Lazarus Saturday, Believers often prepare palm fronds by knotting them into crosses in preparation for the procession on Sunday. The hangings and vestments in the church are changed to a festive color gold in the Greek tradition, and green in the Slavic tradition. The Troarian of the feast indicates that the resurrection of Lazarus is a prefiguration of Jesus' own resurrection. O Christ our God! When thou didst raise Lazarus from the dead before thy passion, thou didst confirm the resurrection of the universe, wherefore, we like children, carry the banner of triumph and victory, and we cry to thee, O conqueror of love, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he that cometh, in the name of the Lord. In the Russian Orthodox Church, Ukrainian Orthodox Church, Ukrainian Catholic Church, Ruthenian Catholic Church, Polish, Bavarian and Austrian Roman Catholics, and various other Eastern European peoples, the custom developed of using pussy willow instead of palm fronds because the latter are not readily available that far north. There is no canonical requirement as to what kind of branches must be used so some Orthodox believers use olive branches. Whatever the kind, these branches are blessed and distributed together with candles either during the all-night vigil on the eve of the feast, or before the Divine Liturgy on Sunday morning. The great entrance of the Divine Liturgy commemorates the entry of the Lord into Jerusalem, so the meaningfulness of this moment is punctuated on Palm Sunday as everyone stands holding their branches and lit candles. The faithful take these branches and candles home with them after the service, and keep them in their icon corner as an evlogia. In Russia, donkey walk processions took place in different cities, but most importantly in Novgorod and, since 1558 until 1693, in Moscow. It was prominently featured in testimonies by foreign witnesses and mentioned in contemporary western maps of the city. The Patriarch of Moscow, representing Christ, rode on a donkey, the Tsar of Russia humbly led the procession on foot. Originally, Moscow processions began inside the Kremlin and terminated at Trinity Church, now known as St. Basil's Cathedral but in 1658 Patriarch Nikon reversed the order of procession. Peter I, as a part of his nationalization of the Church, terminated the custom, it has been occasionally recreated in the 21st century. In Oriental Orthodox churches, palm fronds are distributed at the front of the Church at the sanctuary steps, in India the sanctuary itself having been strewn with marigolds, and the congregation proceeds through and outside the church. Palm Sunday Procession, Moscow, with Tsar Alexei Michilovic Palm Sunday in Moscow, 1654, caption on the illustration, Abryas der Moskowitiskan Prozes Zion M. Palm Sontag
The congregation in an Oriental Orthodox church in India collects palm fronds for the Palm Sunday procession. Eastern Orthodox Fresco in Nativity of the Theotokos Church, Betalia, Republic of Macedonia In ancient times, palm branches symbolized goodness and victory. They were often depicted on coins and important buildings. Solomon had palm branches carved into the walls and doors of the temple. Again at the end of the Bible, people from every nation raise palm branches to honor Jesus. Palm Sunday commemorates the entrance of Jesus into Jerusalem, when palm branches were placed in his path, before his arrest on Holy Thursday and his crucifixion on Good Friday. It thus marks the beginning of Holy Week the final week of Lent. In the Roman Catholic Church, as well as among many Anglican and Lutheran congregations, palm fronds are blessed with an aspergillum outside the church building in an event called the Blessing of Palms if using palm leaves. A solemn procession also takes place, and may include the normal liturgical procession of clergy and acolytes, the parish choir, or the entire congregation. In the Catholic Church and the Episcopal Church, this feast now coincides with that of Passion Sunday, which is the focus of the Mass which follows the service of the Blessing of Palms. The palms are saved in many churches to be burned on Shrove Tuesday the following year to make ashes used in Ash Wednesday services. The Catholic Church considers the blessed palms to be sacramentals. The vestments for the day are deep scarlet red, the color of blood, indicating the supreme redemptive sacrifice Christ was entering the city to fulfill, his passion and resurrection in Jerusalem. In the Episcopal and many other Anglican churches and in Lutheran churches, as well, the day is nowadays officially called the Sunday of the Passion, Palm Sunday, in practice, though, it is usually termed Palm Sunday as in the 1928 American Book of Common Prayer and Indiana earlier Lutheran liturgies and calendars, to avoid undue confusion with the penultimate Sunday of Lent in the traditional calendar, which was Passion Sunday. In the Church of Pakistan, the faithful on Palm Sunday carry palm branches into the church as they sing Psalm 24. In many Protestant churches, children are given palms, and then walk in procession around the inside of the church. In traditional usage of the Methodist Church, the Book of Worship for Church and Home provides the following collect for Palm Sunday. Almighty and everlasting God, who, of thy tender love toward mankind hast sent thy Son our Saviour Jesus Christ to take upon him our flesh, and to suffer death upon the cross, that all mankind should follow the example of his great humility, mercifully grant that we may both follow the example of his patience and also be made partakers of his resurrection, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. It is customary in many churches for worshippers to receive fresh palm leaves on Palm Sunday. In parts of the world where this has historically been impractical, substitute traditions have arisen. In Hogarden, one of the last remaining Palm Sunday processions takes place every year. A fellowship of twelve apostles carries a wooden statue of Christ around the town while children go door to door offering the palms for coins. In Bulgaria, Palm Sunday is known as Tsvetnitsa or Vrabnitsa, or Flowers Day. People with flower-related names celebrate this day as their name day. In the 15th through the 17th centuries in England, Palm Sunday was frequently marked by the burning of jack o lent figures. This was a straw effigy which would be stoned and abused on Ash Wednesday, and kept in the parish for burning on Palm Sunday. The symbolism was believed to be a kind of revenge on Judas Iscariot, who had betrayed Christ. 
The effigy could also have represented the hated figure of winter, whose destruction prepares the way for spring. In Orthodox Ethiopia, this holiday is referred to as Hosanna. Palm leaves are used to create rings and other ornaments. In Finland, it is popular for children to dress up as Easter witches and go door to door in neighborhoods for coins and candy. This is an old Karelian custom called Verpominen. It is customary for the children to chant, with some variation, Vervon Varvon Tureix, Tervix, Tulavax Vodex, Vitsa Sol, Pakamul, which translates as I'm wishing you a fresh, healthy upcoming year, a branch for you, a prize for me. The chant has been translated in Juhavurinan's novel Totally Smashed. As Willow Switch, I'm the Easter Witch. I wish you health and a love that's rich. From me I bring some luck today, for this branch what will you pay? In most of the Catholic churches in India the palms are blessed by the priest on Palm Sunday and then distributed among the people after the Holy Mass. There is a tradition of folding palm fronds into palm crosses which are kept at the altar till the next Ash Wednesday. In the South Indian state of Kerala, Syro-Malankara Catholic Church, and Syriac Orthodox Church congregations elsewhere in India and throughout the West, flowers are strewn about the sanctuary on Palm Sunday during the reading of the Gospel, at the words uttered by the crowd welcoming Jesus. Hosanna. Blessed is he who is come and is to come in the name of the Lord God. These words are read to the congregation thrice. The congregation then repeats, Hosanna, and the flowers are scattered. This is adapted from the older Hindu custom of scattering flowers on festive occasions, as well as the honor shown to Jesus upon his entry into Jerusalem. Indian Orthodoxy traces its roots to the arrival in India of St. Thomas the Apostle and his evangelism among both the Brahmins of the Malabar coast and the ancient Jewish community there. Its rites and ceremonies are both Hindu and Jewish, as well as Levantine Christian, in origin. In Syro-Malabar Catholic Church's palm leaves are blessed during Palm Sunday ceremony and a procession takes place holding the palms. In Italy, palm leaves are used along with small olive branches, readily available in the Mediterranean climate. These are placed at house entrances to last until the following year's Palm Sunday. For this reason, usually palm leaves are not used whole due to their size, instead, leaf strips are braided into smaller shapes. Small olive branches are also often used to decorate traditional Easter cakes, along with other symbols of birth, like eggs. In Latvia, Palm Sunday is called Pussy Willow Sunday, and Pussy Willows symbolizing new life are blessed and distributed to the faithful. Children are often awakened that morning with ritualistic swats of a willow branch. When Christianity came to Lithuania, the plants which sprouted earliest were honored during spring feasts. The name Palm Sunday is a misnomer, the verba or dwarf spuce is used instead. According to tradition, on the Saturday before Palm Sunday the Lithuanians take special care in choosing and cutting well-formed branches, which the women folk decorate with flowers. The flowers are meticulously tied onto the branches, making the verba. In Israel, Jordan, Lebanon, Palestine, and Syria, Palm Sunday is perhaps the best attended service in the Christian calendar among the Orthodox, Catholic, and Anglican churches, perhaps because it is notably a family occasion. On this day, children attend church with branches from olive and palm trees. Also, there will be carefully woven crosses and other symbols made from palm fronds and roses in a procession at the beginning of the service, during which at some point, 
the priest will take an olive branch and splash holy water on the faithful. All the parishes of Malta and Gozo on Palm Sunday bless the palm leaves and the olive leaves. Those parishes that have the statues of Good Friday bless the olive tree they put on the statues of Jesus praise in the olive garden and the betrayal of Judas. Also, many people take a small olive branch to their homes because it is a sacramental. In the Saxon regions of the Netherlands, crosses are decorated with candy and bread, made in the form of a rooster. In the Diocese of Groning and Leeuwarden, a great procession with oil lamps is held the night before Palm Sunday in honor of the sorrowful mother of Wharf Huizen. In the Philippines, communities reenact Jesus' triumphal entry with a procession. A statue of Christ riding a donkey, or the officiating priest on horseback, is brought to the local church by congregants, who wave palaspas. At houses and chapels, white-clad children scatter flowers as they sing the antiphon Hosanna Filio David in the vernacular and to traditional tunes. Tapi or large cloths are spread along the processional route, to be tread upon by the humenta or the priest. Once blessed, the palaspas are brought home and placed on altars, doorways, and windows. The church teaches that this is meant to welcome Christ, but many Filipinos believe Blessed Palaspas to be apotropaic, deterring evil spirits, lightning, and fires. Another folk custom is to feed pieces of Blessed Palaspas to roosters used in Sabong, this was strongly discouraged by the Archbishop of Manila, Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagal. In other provinces, the flowers strewn by the angels during the procession are added to the rice seeds being planted, in the belief that these will ensure a bountiful harvest. Many Polish towns and villages organize artificial palm competitions. The biggest of those reach above 30 meters in length, for example, the highest palm in 2008 was 33.39 meters. In Romania and Moldova, Palm Sunday is known as Duminica Floriila or simply Florii, translating Flowers Sunday. In Spain, there is a tradition at the Palmeral of Elche where local people cover palm leaves from the sun to allow them to whiten, and then they tie and braid them into intricate shapes. A Spanish rhyming proverb states, Domingo de Ramos, Quien no estrina algo, sele sin las manos. On Palm Sunday, it is customary to don new clothing or shoes. In Syria, it is popular for children to dress up as Easter witches and go door to door in neighborhoods for coins and candy. Palm Day Syria in Welsh Palm Sunday in called Sol y Blada and it is traditional to decorate graves with flowers on that day, especially in the industrial towns and villages of South Wales. Equals federal holidays, equals state holidays, equals religious holidays, equals week-long holidays, equals month-long holidays, equals title 36 observances and ceremonies. Bold indicates major holidays commonly celebrated in the United States, which often represent the major celebrations of the month. <laughs>